What is up everybody and welcome to FLW Videos. Currently in Pokemon Go there is a bug out event and I thought something kind of cool that we should go ahead and cover that a lot of people have been asking about is the top 5 Pokemon by type. So since we've got this bug out event I figured why not go ahead and cover the top 5 bug type Pokemon in Pokemon Go take a look at some future value and currently what Pokemon you should definitely focus on from the bug typing. If you do enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to take a look at these top five Pokemon from a statistical perspective, and then we're going to dive into some raid simulations as well as taking a look at the different PVP rankings. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Up first, we've got Beedrill. Now, very excited to actually have Beedrill on this list. It's a little bit soft in that number five spot, but it is simply put here because of its update to that community day moveset of Drill Run, making it viable in the PVP side. Of course, not on the raid side, but beforehand, no one was talking about Beedrill, so I'm very happy to see it finally get an upgrade. And then long-term, there is some future value as well when we're talking about the Mega Form. So with the Mega Form, the highlight is definitely that attack stat of 304. That's four ahead of Mewtwo in Pokemon Go. That's insane. So I think that Beedrill is going to be a safe bet. You've got some performance out of just the regular Beedrill on the PvP side. And then when you talk about from the raid side, you have some future value out of that Mega Form. So I think that Beedrill definitely deserves this number five spot. When we move into the next one, this is a little bit tricky because Genesect, technically speaking, as far as the stats are concerned, is one of the higher performing stat Pokemon out of all of the bug type Pokemon right now. The issue in the future is that Genesect really doesn't have a lot of room to grow upward like some of these other Pokemon do with the Megas being introduced. Maybe Genesect ends up getting buffed like a long time ago or a long time in the future, gets an update to it, moves that, you know, something like that ends up happening. But for now, Genesect has all of the glory right now but not necessarily in the future its attack stat is amazing it oftentimes ends up getting compared to the pokemon scissor especially because of like having the same typing of bug and steel and sharing some of those same bug type movesets but when you're talking about scissor i mean its performance in the pvp side is better than genesect so and it's and it has to do with like the secondary moves like having night slash for example and then of course access to some decent still type moves so the moveset kind of like differentiated them enough to kind of let sizzle rise up a little bit plus you can only get one genesec which is a little bit unfortunate so if you get bad ivs you're just kind of stuck with it which i hate that that has happened for mythical pokemon but i do understand it for sure anyways if we go ahead and move on to the number three position we've got pincer so pincer is not necessarily in the three position for what it is now it's for what it could be in the future with the mega evolution it does have a high attack stat. You really just don't hear a lot about Pinsir really overall. I personally think that a lot of people are fans of it. If you had to pick a top bug type Pokemon that was your favorite, Pinsir's probably within the top three. I think it's a lot of fun. It even got the option to get a raid day put into Pokemon Go, of which Niantic ended up canceling that, which is a little bit unfortunate because with this Mega being announced, I mean, come on, this is going to be a lot of future value for this Pokemon. Hopefully you've got yourself a decent pincer ready to go so when we take a look at this i mean it's looking pretty good we've got an amazing attack set at 278 the defense is looking good and then technically the stamina did drop a little bit so it is going to be a little bit more glassy but i think overall it got a major improvement on the attack on the defense and it has some viability finally from the raid side which i know a lot of people are going to be excited about when we move into the number two position we've got hair cross and really the only thing kind of holding Heracross back really has to do with exclusivity. I think this Pokemon is amazing, but the fact that it is a regional Pokemon really dampers how popular this Pokemon, in my opinion, would be from the PvP side, from the raid side. It's just not as accessible. Luckily, what Niantic has done is that different events such as a Safari Zone, a Go Fest, you know, things like that. This Pokemon has been featured as the regional, so I have managed to find myself some through trades or at special events, for example. So you can definitely get it. Maybe think about it now because no one's really talking about Mega Heracross. But I can promise you, if you can go ahead and get yourself one now, you could use Heracross for PvP, which does a great job. And then you could have Mega Heracross, which could end up doing an amazing job from the raid side. So somewhat similar to Beedrill, but technically going to be a little bit better as far as the stats are concerned. So it's got the same attack stat as that Mega Beedrill that we saw earlier, which is just insane. 
and it's looking good on the defense and then pretty good on the stamina especially considering like a bug type but yeah it definitely dropped a little bit in that performance though but it's got a super high overall ranking and i think it has a lot of viability really the only issue with heracross in my opinion is just the fact that it is a regional but honestly it has nothing to do with the pokemon itself that's just niantic's decision so anyways if we go ahead and move on to the number one position i'm putting scissor here so scissor the reason why i'm putting it here really has to do with the fact that it is the most well-rounded bug type pokemon currently in pokemon go it can do a decent job from the raid side it can also do a decent job on the pvp side maybe you've been running up against a ton of these in the ultra league for example you're going to know that scissor is an amazing pokemon so when we go ahead and take a look at the stats its best stat is that attack stat at 236 it's doing okay on the defense it's doing okay on the stamina stamina is a little bit low but we've been seeing that among all of the different bug type pokemon but it technically makes up for it in different ways by ha adding on that steel typing so it ends up picking up some extra resistances for example and it's now only weak to fire type just like we saw with genesect as well just wanted to go ahead and mention that so we have an overall ranking of 152 but really i i think that there's going to be a lot of future value with scissor in the mega form so we've got mega scissor up here and when we take a look at the stats, we have a pretty good attack stat, so a, a big jump up near about where Genesect was. We also have a major improvement in the defense. Now, that's something that we haven't necessarily seen as much of. And then we've got a little bit of a drop in the stamina, which overall, I think they're just pretty much going to end up balancing each other. You could argue what's going to end up doing better with the pincer and scissor. I think that you could come up with a good argument, honestly, for both of them. But seeing how good Scizor is currently with a couple other things like the moveset, for example, and then of course the typing, I think the typing helps Scizor out over Pinsir, especially more long term. So that's something to kind of think about with all of this. But yeah, that's my top five. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at the raid simulations and then head over to PvP for the different PvP rankings. So we're going to go ahead and run a raid simulation up against a Mewtwo, which is of course going to be weak to the bug typing. So... We're gonna have to scroll down a little bit and get through some other Pokemon to finally make it to the bug type, but like we said before, that just kind of is where they are right now. So we've got Genesect in at that number one position, similar to what we talked about before. We end up seeing that Pinsir is also on this list as well, in at that number two position. And then we scroll down a little bit further and we can see that Scizor is in at the third position for the bug type Pokemon. And then finally, Excavalier. So by the way, Excavalier was one of those Pokemon where I was so close to being able to put it in at the number five spot. I just wasn't really sure between a Beedrill and then Excavalier. So I thought it was at least worth mentioning that it is kind of like an honorable mention and could potentially take on the number five spot. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that's just kind of like what I was looking at initially. Genesect does have some favorable performance now. But like I said, it's going to end up dropping off a little bit later on as far as all the other Pokemon getting better with their mega Pokemon. So when we go ahead and head over to the PVP rankings, what you can do is you can actually type in the different typings for the Pokemon and get a filtered list. So if we go ahead and go down a bug for the Great League, we can see that Excavalier takes on the top position for bug type Pokemon. And then we've got the Beedrill coming in at that second position, kind of like what we talked about with that move Drill Run. Now I'm starting to think Excavalier, oh man, I don't know, it's just, it was so close for me to do this. Beedrill, I felt like I, I edged it just because of that mega form. But of course, let me know in the comment section. We've got the Pokemon Fortress coming up as a little bit of an honorable mention here. When we moved on to the Ultra League, we can see that Heracross takes over that number one spot for this position. And then secondarily, we've got the Pokemon Excavalier here. And then finally, we've got Scizor. But honestly, Scizor has been amazing and it has so much flexibility. A lot of people have been using it from still typing with bullet punch as well as iron head it's been super helpful versus pokemon like articuno for example so that's something worth mentioning and then finally when we go ahead and head into the master league we've got the pokemon heracross as well as excavalier here so once again heracross pretty much dominating these bug type pokemon from the pvp side and then the scavalier just kind of like edging you know maybe two maybe three maybe one just but it's definitely towards the top when you talk about that and then, of course, Genesect holding in at that number three position. So we can at least say that there has been some fair consistency among these bug type Pokemon. The top five is pretty much the top five. You could argue Excavalier coming into that top five position, maybe taking over Beedrill. 
That can be a, a debate that can definitely be made. But regardless of that, I hope that this helps you to aim and learn everything that you need to know about the current bug type Pokemon and of course what you have to look forward to. But I would love to know in the comments section below, what is your favorite bug type Pokemon to use in Pokemon Go? Let me know in the comments section below and I will see you next time. If you want to develop a deeper connection, I would highly recommend you to check out Patreon. We've got a lot of really cool things going on over there. Check out all of these supporters that we have. We are almost up to 100. We are also posting some special content, some behind the scenes work. And if that is the type of thing that interests you, I would highly recommend you to check it out.